Hello again, I'm Jane Willingale of Silver Zone Printables. Welcome to another video in my series on Affinity Publisher Tips. And if that kind of thing interests you, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be sure not to miss these kind of videos when I post them. One of the things you can do in Affinity Publisher is to wrap your text around any shape. And you can do it by either setting the shape that you want to wrap the text around to have the text wrap on, or you can create your own text box, which is what we're going to do now. So we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to create a text box by simply clicking and drawing around the edge. Just click, click, click and close the box off by coming back up to your starting point. And then we're going to right click on that box and convert that to a text frame. So now you can insert text either typing in or copy and paste. But if you just want to set it up as a sample to show somebody, you can use Affinity's built-in text filler, which also if you right click, you can go insert filler text and it straight away puts uh, text in and it's chosen white because it happened to be the last one I used and that's what I would have changed it to so that it stands out. We'll just make that slightly bigger so that you can see the text better. Now the other thing is that at the moment if I click off that you can see that text box has a black line around it which we don't want. So we just need to take that off. So if I click on the text frame box up here in the top right, I can click on the stroke fill and just choose the circle with the red line through it to turn the colour off. Nice and simple. And if I click off again, now you can't see a line around the box. Now we can make the background a different colour by giving the text frame a fill. So instead of turning the, the color off where it says fill, we click on that and choose the color. So if we try 30% black, that gives a pale gray. And we can make that translucent by going to color and then choosing the opacity. Turning that down which will allow you to see something of the background behind. So we can probably make this look a bit better by giving it an indent on the left hand side. And to do that, we will click on the text box and where it says insets, we will make sure that the link here is, this is on at the moment, make sure it's turned off by clicking on it. And then making the left inset something like 35 which will bring the text in from the left hand side. It probably wants to be a bit more than that actually, so we'll make it 50, that's better. You can change the others as well, but in this instance, it's worked quite well as it goes around. And I mentioned at the beginning that you can wrap text around a shape that is a sep on a separate layer. So if I quickly go through that one as well, and we'll pull in a different shape and draw it on top here. If I push it in across the text, you can see that at the moment the text is behind it. But while keeping that shape selected, if I go to text and come down to text wrap, show text wrap settings, and you can see here you have various options of how you want that text to go. So in this instance, I'm gonna choose the tight so it will follow the shape and close it and you can see that even though it's in a te text box which follows the shape of the dog it now also follows the shape of the new image that is drawn on there. So there you have two or three different ways that you can use text wrapping in your publications. Thanks for watching.